today's tutorial is um, how to do a corner overlay for a thumbnail like I have on my two most recent thumbnails. Um, so first you're obviously going to start off by with your 1280 by 720 pixel um, whatever you call it like canvas because that is the exact width and height for a thumbnail. Hold on I have to like make this smaller or some crap or what if I can yeah there we go okay so uh... what am I doing hold on okay sorry but <laughs> I have no idea what happened but um like I said you start off with the 1280 by 720 canvas because that is the size of our um, a YouTube thumbnail and you're gonna add in whatever you want so first I'm just gonna show you like what what I'm gonna be making um yours doesn't have to be exactly like this but this is what I'm gonna be making I have no idea why the shadow is so dark right there but eh, I don't really care so I'm gonna be making this border you can switch it up if you want you can add like different shadows or make it black or whatever you want but um basically um you're gonna start off by I'm just gonna make this transparent so or no I'm just gonna make the background green there we go so what I always do is hold on let me make that black there we go. So what I always do is I, this isn't going to be really even, but I just kind of make a border like this, right? And then I'm going to fill that in with black so that I can deselect it and then fill in the outside with white. And then what you're going to want to do is take your magic wand and just get rid of the middle by clicking on it once and then clicking delete on your keyboard. Hold on, that didn't work. The frick? Hold up. Okay, I have no idea why this is doing this, but I guess we'll just leave this black. So, um, that's because I didn't make a new layer. Whatever, we'll just leave it black. So, what I do is I make a, a triangle, like a well, it's not really a triangle. I start off by going like this, and then you make another different angle like that, and another angle like that. And then you just bring the triangle around the border like this, or whatever shape you are. And then I'm just going to fill that in with white, so it looks like this. That's that's basically what the corner is going to look like. Now what I'm going to do is... um. Are you kidding me? Hold on. There we go. Now I'm going to add a drop shadow to this. Hold on, let me do this. Just make this green. Uh, where is it? There it is. That's white. There we go. So, um, on this, I'm just going to put a drop shadow. Like that. And so now we have a drop shadow going around here, right? Up there. And what I do is I put another layer and then um I make a triangle and try to line it up exactly with that side. So if you don't do it right, you should do that and deselect. So no. There we go, and then we're just going to bring it around, like usual, and then fill it with white. So now it's going to look like just one piece, but when we add a drop shadow to it, now you can see, obviously it looks weird down here, but you can see that drop shadow right there. So now to fix this, we're just going to take the polygon tool, or you can do the lasso tool. 
I'm gonna use the lasso tool just because it's easier. And you just kinda don't do that. You do this. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna no, actually I am gonna use the polygon tool because I want all of this to be white. So it looks like that's like where the border is, right? So I'm gonna just gonna bring it straight down like that. And then do that. And then just kinda go as far out as you want. There you go. And then you're just gonna fill that with white. There you go. Oh crap, I forgot to do a new layer, hold on. New layer, and then you fill it with white. There you go. And that's pretty much it. Now you have your little corner thing. You don't have to do all of that, but if you want, you can. You know, it's up to you. And then what I do is I just put a G there, because gods. So I just make a G, and then um, I just made a small gradient. So let me do that. Second color. A little bit greener. That, there we go. And, um, I just move this down here. Control T. And then I turned it like that. There we go. And then we're just going to apply the changes and then select it with your magic wand take your gradient tool you have to raster rasterize it hold on rasterize type there we go and now you just gradient it like that and obviously I'm gonna add a drop shadow because I really like drop shadows there we go and we're done and that's how you make your corner thumbnail overlay. If you don't want this white border, this border around here, you can obviously just just make whatever polygon you want or shape you want in the corner instead of just having the border like that. But uh yeah. That is how you just basically make the corner thing. Well, it's how I make it. You don't have to copy it. But um thank you guys for watching and uh I hope you took something from this, and I hope that you guys will be able to use this in the future. And uh, I will see you guys later. Peace out.